We're good, Frank. Okay. Welcome to the 2024 Mingi Beef Jerky KHSAA Girls Sweet 16 State Basketball Tournament. We have the winners of today's first game, the Bowling Green Purples. We have head coach Calvin Head, student athletes Chloe Potter and Katie Smiley. Coach, comments on the game, please. Uh, yeah, it's kind of been how we played all year. <laughs> Uh, a little, little muddy, uh, up and down roller coaster. Uh, but I thought our kids fall. Um, big, big shout out to Allison County and, and the job that they've done this year. And, um, we knew their guards were going to be tough to handle. Um, they shoot the ball extremely well, um, and uh, they, they made us pay when we when we didn't do what we we're supposed to do defensively. So, um, all in all, very, very proud of our girls in those last 16 minutes of being resilient and uh, showcasing a lot of toughness. Right here. Coach, last year you got off to that slow start, that first game, first session. What do you think was kind of different? Did you guys want to kind of hit that alarm clock today and really kind of finally get going? Um, our, our second quarter was really good. You know, the first quarter, you know, we dug ourselves a hole. So it was kind of hard to see how well we did in the second quarter. But I thought the second quarter we, we found some defensive rhythm. Um, and so once we established some defensive rhythm and, um, and was able to um, kind of get things going that way, we were good. We didn't shoot the ball well at all in the first half. We were 0 for 9 from 3. I thought we had good looks. Um, and we didn't do a good job of attacking their zone in the right places. I thought we made some good adjustments at halftime. And um, once we, we got going and saw the ball go through the hole, uh, we had some people make some big shots. Uh, Chloe, you made a couple of big plays that brought back some momentum, especially later in this ball game. What was going through your head when you had to be clutch, especially uh, you know, with this game of one? I mean, as a senior, Obviously, when your team's losing, you feel a lot of pressure. You don't want to go home first round. I mean, it's just, it's either win or go home. So making big plays is what we had to do to get the momentum back for our team. Right here in the front. Coach, you sweating like you were you were out there yourself. What did you tell your team to, to settle them down after that first quarter? Honestly, I just reminded them that this is this has been our season all year. We've been fighting uphill um, and, and, you know, a lot, a lot of doubts and stuff about our basketball team. So um, I, I knew we needed to get off to a good start. Um, and we went for nothing. <laughs> and then we kind of relaxed a little bit. But I just I just kept telling them that they need to trust each other and trust us over there. Uh, we, we, we got here. Um, doing, playing a, a, a style of play, and we need to get back to it. So once they started guarding, and then we was able to rebound um, out of it and, and, and push the tempo like we wanted it to be, um, I thought they settled down and kind of became more of themselves. Coach, you talked about the guards of Owsley County. Smith and Lynch had huge first quarters to give the Owls that early lead. You guys seemed to slow them down, especially in the second half. What was the game plan in the halftime break to sort of slow their guard play down? Well, one one thing we in the first quarter we were just we were just awful, honestly, defensively with, with, with the game plan. Um, and we talked about it at, at halftime about making sure that we pushed up on, on screens and got over top, and then making our big show uh, so they don't turn the corner on us. But then we had to we had to limit number two's uh, touches because she was killing us. And so um, our defensive specialist did what she did all postseason. She just made it tough. Tough, 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 and uh, I give Chloe a lot of credit. She started face guarding her and just limiting our touches and just making them stagnate on offense just enough uh, 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 to, to, get, to secure the win. Right here in front. Chloe, this team has graduated a lot of contributors over the past few seasons. What's so special about the culture of this program that you're able to return once again? Over the past few years, we've all gotten along we just have that, we all click, and we all get each other, we can all flow with each other. It's just a really fun environment to be around. Right here. 
Calvin, you waited until the last couple minutes to come back from halftime. Were more of the adjustments defensive or offensive that you had, had coming into the third quarter? Mental. <laughs> a lot of it was mental. Um, and some of it was, was rest. Uh, Chloe's nursing a back injury. Um, of course, she, we, you know, Josiah's kind of on a, uh, a leg and a half. Um, uh, and so some of it was rest, but some of it was just making sure they fully understood the assignments coming out of halftime. Katie, you've really been like a sharpshooter all season long. I mean, you're kind of known for those like deep range balls. Obviously, a lot of them not falling in that first half. Chloe hitting the first uh, the first three of the entire game. Then you start to get into it and hitting those threes. How does it feel just having like other people, especially on the team, being able to hit those deep range balls as well and kind of get you more acclimated and saying like, okay, we're making them now, we're making our shots, so I can just kind of let loose a little bit. Yeah, um, you know, Chloe did have some big shots tonight. And then also Riley Campbell, she's another shooter. You know, we tell her, catch it, let it go, have confidence that it's going in. And uh, I think even when mine aren't falling, I have confidence in the team that we're going to get it done and eventually, you know, take our defense, transi transition it to our offense. So. Final questions for Bowling Green? Coach, congratulations to you and the Purples. Good luck the rest of the way. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you all. Thanks to you, right? One step. Now you back.